I want to see that kind of stuff. Sounds good. So um, some of the important things we did was, you know, we have this new streamlined user experience where we kind of taken away a, a lot of the, you know, even from a design point of view, we've kind of lightened it up, removed a number of the lines. Um, and, you know, this is sort of our new tab page that we, we showed off yesterday. It's really focused on helping people get to the sites they're interested in, you know, doing searches, and then content that's kind of personalized to them as well. Right. Um, once you kind of get into it, we have a couple areas where we've in, uh, invested. So one of them is we've integrated Cortana uh, into the browser. Cool. And we've done that in a couple interesting ways. Like really looked at it as like how, if you had this personal assistant, how would your personal assistant help you with browsing? Well, she wouldn't sort of be there where you're sort of like, you know, go, you know, browser, you know, personal assistant, please go to this website for me. Right. Instead, what she would do is sort of sit on the side. And if she noticed you doing something and she could help with that, she might sort of interject and, and sort of help with that. So one of the examples is, you know, if you, uh, you know, start typing weather like you're going to you know, San Francisco weather, she might be like, oh, well, you don't have to press enter and go to do a search. I'm just going to tell you what the weather is right there. Got it. Um, and for the folks who aren't in San Francisco, this is, in fact, what it's like outside. So. Nice. <laughs> um, but there's you know, several other things you can do. Like if she notices that you know, you're, you're about to search for this thing, you know, when is you know, Thanksgiving you know, 2015, um, she might sort of pop up and answer that right there. Um, you there know, you go. say like it's in November, or I can send her and do a search as well. Because so, if you're looking for like little tidbits of information, yeah. you don't need the whole page. You yes, just want right. the information. She's really need. good with celebrities as well. So I think Sean. Sean <laughs> oh wants yeah, to show you know, that for off. example, as one does, right. if you need to know like how old Brad Pitt is. You know, I did that search this morning. Exactly, and, and you, know, the, you didn't even have to do the search. I didn't even have to do right the full search. search. Sounds like we're, we're, can, we're on the same page I'm, here. I'm saving <laughs> lifetime here with this kind of stuff. Precisely. This is fantastic. Yeah, so you know, she actually is able to a answer questions like that. There's a few other things we've done. Um, if you were to go to, uh, you know, a certain, you know, different, um, I'm gonna type this, oh, oh. Typing is hard. Live. It is, I, it is. Alive on TV, yeah. yeah. So if you go to her website, you see actually what happened at the top right hand corner there. She kind of popped out and she said, hey, you're on this Western website. Odds are good I, I know how to help you with that. So she can sort of tap on that and she'll like give you this little package of information that she selected. This is, you know, where the phone number is. This is what the, what the menu is like. It's Italian. Is it open right now? It is actually open right now. Um, if you were close to it, where this is a restaurant in Seattle, it would tell you how far away it is from where you're currently located, that kind of thing. And so it's just sort of contextual information. It's not Absolutely. like, hey, go to website this. It's no. more like, now that I'm at website this, yep. what might you be interested about that? Precisely. And here's okay. another example. I can pick another, some random piece of text and say, ask Cortana. And it can tell me, you know, South Lake Union is a neighborhood in, in Washington, give me kind of an idea where it is. And she supports a whole bunch of different entities. So there's like different recipes, like if it's a food that you select, she'll tell you what the nutritional value of that is. If it's a, you know, an arbitrary celebrity, celebrity like say <laughs> yeah, Brad Pitt, yeah, she'll give you some really, really out. key information about that pictures. celebrity. The yeah. pictures, which are actually, as it turns out, the most clicked things for celebrities. Got it. <laughs> so that's Cortana. We've actually, I want to quickly just run through a couple of other things. We have done some work with reading. Okay. So if you, um, we have a new reading list uh, that is sort of, there's our favorites, but also here's some reading. This is a, you know, stuff I've added to my reading list. And if I click on this, it can pop in uh, over to that site. And then we have a re-reading view that you can click in, which gives you this kind of distraction-free view of the, um, of the content that you can kind of just, you know, flip through and you, all of the, if there are ads on the page, they sort of get moved to the background so that you can focus on the content. Um, and, and for those, for those that, just to, to interject, he's using his touch screen yes. as this is happening. Right. I know you can't see it live, but he's, all, he's, he's going typing back what he has to, yeah. he's touching what he has to. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing that we, uh, we, we added is, is um, annotations. Okay. So there's these, we call them web notes. So if you tap on that little button, you move it in this note-taking note mode. Um, we're still working on it, as you no, can tell. No, it's okay. Yeah. Look, I've always told people, when we're previewing new stuff, yeah. it's like we're letting you in the house and <laughs> yeah. letting you look under our bed. Okay. It might be clean all the way, but we're still cleaning some stuff up. Yeah. Right. Okay, so don't <laughs> mind the cobwebs. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. And if we're ready to ship, we'd ship it today. Yeah. So we have a few <laughs> things to fix. Um, so I've moved back to annotation mode, and now I can, with my finger, if I wanted to, I can kind of say, oh, this looks good. I should, you know, go to this. And then I can you know, share it or save it or send it to somebody and say, you know, send it to my boss and say, you know, I really want to go to that build thing. That sounds good to me. So I saw this feature. Where are these annotations <laughs> being saved? Well, they're saved locally on your machine okay. um, in, a, in a, a particular file format. And you can then save that. You can send that 
package over to you know whoever you want to to who can then consume it and see the annotations. So are they made. opening it like a link that then it's opening the page and the annotations? Um, we will do that eventually. Right for this releases, we're just sending a package over um, okay, in, cool. as an attachment in the email. Got it. Um, and All so right. that's sort of it. You know, it's like it's reading this reading stuff, the annotation stuff. Um, and then this Cortana feature, and as I could call it, we do reading, writing, and arithmetic because you can actually also nice. you can also do math in there, and she'll tell you what the answer is. It's just a little slow sometimes, but oh, of course. Um, we well, actually it's did, the afternoon, right? Yeah, I, there I we have go. A hard See, time with math. She was oh, having one difficulty with one plus thirty-four. <laughs> it's a hard one. It is a difficult yeah, one. You know, you, she thinks there's a trick in there, but it, <laughs> wait, you know. is that what you really meant? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have some more questions coming in. When will we get the option to save web page as web archive? Dot slash dot mhtml. Uh, it's a good question. I'm not sure. Um, it's good. You know, one of the things I would suggest with a lot of these kinds of things is we have a ton of feedback supports. We have the little smiley face, mm -hmm. top right hand corner. You know, we have a lot of people going through this feedback. In fact, one of the things that we are spending a lot of time on this release, like the rest of Windows 10, is we're releasing early. We're getting feedback. Right. You know, we may not have thought that web archives were a really important thing, but if you know, if that's a thing that's super important for a bunch of people, let's get that feedback in, and then we'll prioritize it on our backlog and make sure that we work on that. Yeah, I, as a developer, <laughs> as developers, we always get the well, what about this? What about that? We're like, yeah, we love everything, but yeah. we got to get certain yeah. things done yeah. first. And for for a feature request like this, a great resource is the user voice site. So okay. if you go to windows.uservoice.com, uh, there's a Microsoft Edge category, which I'm sure yeah. has been renamed overnight. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Um, Why should it be renamed? I don't, I don't know. What <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's always been that yeah. way. Yeah. Um, and and that's a great place to add that type of feature because then other people can then vote. Yeah, and, they can and plus it can one it. Yeah. Plus one it. Got plus it. three. <laughs> All right. So John asked, will extension support be available on the phone? Tablet side. Well, let me take Jonathan's question as well, which is when will extension support be available? So, now, what do they mean by extension support? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, one of the things that we, we that Joe showed off yesterday in the demo was we we're starting to work on support for extensions, and this means the ability to add, you know, additional functionality to the browser. For Got you know, it. like a lot of people who use Reddit, for example, really love the Reddit enhancement suite. Um, or uh, we worked with our Microsoft Translate team, and they built a translation extension that you know automatically translates the content in your page. Or we worked with the Pinterest team, and they have an extension that basically lets you pin the, the images on your page. Got if it. Actually, you know, I don't know if we're up, it's behind us. Right? All right, here we go. Yeah. So this is a you know I could pin this you know directly to my uh, you know my board uh, on Pinterest. So these extensions are all. Um, you know, built as an HTML and JavaScript. And we started working on this, and it won't be available when we RTM uh, this, this summer. Right. But uh, we you know, we started working on it. We'll have sort of an insider preview available shortly after RTM for people to start working with. So, you know, that's our, we don't have an exact date for when we will actually go to production, but we started working on it, and we gave people a little view of it yesterday. So extensions are important, <laughs> and we're, we're definitely putting that in the roadmap for the future. It's in the roadmap, and we really wanted, because it's actually one of the things that have come up many, many times, like, I want extensions, I want my RES, I want my ad block, I want, you know, these kinds of things. Probably at the top of our feedback list. Yes, yeah, I, I think it actually is the number one yep. uh, user voice, other than keep that old name, um, yeah. <laughs> which is the <laughs> other one I, that I we had. I don't know what Yeah, exactly. Um, that's because people didn't know what the new name was. Right. And now right. they now know. That's, we're on the edge, we're people. On the edge. Let's exactly. do it. So John asked, um, how much of but it? There was a question about mobile. So right. we actually do want to bring to mobile as well. Now it's on the roadmap. It's probably we'll do the desktop first and then mobile after that. But so, but, but because it's a win universal Windows app, it should. <clears throat> yeah. So the core tech will work. It's just the mobile devices have slightly different needs. Got there, it. You know, low battery. There is sort of, of an course. expectation, like you know, this this thing can handle having us just extension sort of sitting in the background doing right. things. Some of the smaller devices can't. So we have to do more work around making sure that the extensions can be more. They they can be shut down cleanly automatically if they're if they're not in use. So there's a little bit more work. Extensions we have to can do. also put in buttons into the UI, which is right. a little harder when you've got a four-inch screen. Yeah. yeah. And so you're, what you're saying is, yeah, we can make it go over, but we need to start making it a little bit the experience make it a little great. bit better on yeah. the device. On that device. And that is actually true of all the universal Windows platform. That has been our, our philosophy. The core is the same, but you really want to tailor to the device type, Got right? It. And make sure that you know it really fits into that device. Not one experience everywhere. It's one core everywhere, and then you know tailor the user experience for the different device. Got 